Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to type math symbols and equations on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now when you're using your Mac you may come across math symbols, math equations, or you may need to type them yourself. So it's useful to know all these different techniques. I'm going to use Pages here in this example but you could use the same techniques in other apps as well. Now the first thing is the simple way of doing it. Just using the basic keys on your keyboard. You may not want to actually use these but you may see them all the time online. For instance when you type an equation like 1 plus 2 it's just two numbers and then a symbol in between them. And you could see that symbol right there on your keyboard. But what if you wanted to use multiplication? Notice that there isn't a multiplication symbol on your keyboard anywhere. However, you may see it as something like that. An asterisk may be used in place of a multiplication symbol. This is very common as that's how you do it when you're programming a computer. So all the computer languages use that symbol. So that will leak over into other documents you may see even if you're not programming. So keep in mind the asterisk which on a US keyboard is Shift 8. That stands for multiplication. Sometimes you may see somebody that doesn't know this use the letter X instead. That's used in mathematical equations for other things like variables. Like you may see letters used like this for an algebraic equation. So using X for multiplication can be a problem. Now you'll notice there's also no division symbol on the keyboard. So instead usually the slash key is used. So for 2 divided by 7 you may see it like this. And the slash kind of simulates the idea of having 2 above the 7. The line's kind of diagonal so it gives that impression. Now if you do want to type a division symbol you actually can on a Mac keyboard. Use the Option key and then Slash. And this will type a division symbol. This isn't used generally in programming but if you're just doing it for typesetting purposes just to show something in a Pages document or an email then you can use this symbol pretty easily. But unfortunately there's no matching symbol for that for multiplication. So a lot of times the X is just used. Now unfortunately there's no equivalent multiplication symbol that you can type with the keyboard. But there are a lot of other math symbols. To see what's available the best way is to go into System Settings and then go to Accessibility and then go to Keyboard and then turn on the Accessibility Keyboard. This brings up this little mini keyboard here that shows you what you're typing. But we're just going to use it to actually see what happens when you press the Option key. So if you press the Option key you notice all the symbols you can see here. There's that division symbol there. But you can see a variety of other math symbols like this and this. And if you hold the Shift key you also see what you get when you hold Shift. Shift and Option give you these symbols including some other math symbols there as well. So you can get an idea not only of what's available but how to type it. So for instance if I wanted to type a not equal symbol you could see I'm holding on the Option key here and it's the Equals key with the Option key held down that will do that. However you can access a whole variety of different symbols using the Emoji and Special Character Viewer. So you just hold Control, Command, and then Space or on newer Macs you hold the Globe key down and press E and this brings up the Emoji and Special Character Viewer here and you can search for things. So if I search for Division you can see I get two different symbols. One is actually called the Division Symbol and one's called the Division Sign. I think the Division Sign looks a little bit better so you could use that. And you can see this is in fact the same character as if I do Option Slash. Now for Multiplication you could do the same thing. If you search for Multiplication you'll find a few things here including a Multiplication X and a Multiplication Sign. This one I think looks pretty good and is definitely the right symbol to use. It's a proper multiplication sign. But the only way to type it is to use the Emoji and Special Character Viewer. Now when you do bring this up you'll notice that you get a lot of math symbols when you search. But to make sure you get them all click this button here at the upper right hand corner. That will take you into the Character Viewer. The Emoji Viewer and the Character Viewer basically can toggle back and forth between each other. So if I click here again you can see it goes back to this. And there it goes to the Character Viewer. The Character Viewer allows you to browse different categories including math symbols. So you select that and now you can see all the different math symbols. If you don't see math symbols there click here at the top left and then Customize List. And then scroll down and look for math symbols and make sure that is checked. As long as that's in the list here on the left 
then in the regular mode here you'll find something if you search for it. So if you search for integral for instance you'll find those symbols right here. Now if you want to type fractions you can do better than something like that. One of the things you can do is there are some special symbols for specific fractions. So let's bring up the Emoji and Special Character Viewer again and I'm going to type fraction and you can see I come up with a variety of different fractions here. So if I wanted to use say 3 quarters I could just use this and this is a single character representing 3 quarters. Now sometimes you want to raise a number to a power like say 7 squared. So I can do 7 but if I type 2 I just get 72. And in most word processing apps I can go to Format and then Font and then look for Baseline and then Superscript. And I can change this to a superscript number so it's raised up. And I can actually go in here and use Raise and Lower to raise it up even more. So I can keep doing that to get it to be the right height and then maybe copy and paste that to make it easier throughout my document. But there are also special characters for this. So if I look in the Emoji and Special Character Viewer and I look for the number 2 you can see I've got one here that's Superscript 2. I can use that instead. And you'll find the same thing for other numbers as well. There's Superscript 7 for instance. Now if you're working on a document that really needs some serious math equations in it then Pages has a special feature to allow you to really go wild with math equations. If you go to Insert there's the ability to insert an equation. And now you can type something using one of two languages. LaTeX or MathML. Now if I just type something really simple like that it doesn't look any different. But if I know the code to type then I can get a really nice looking equation here. So for instance if I use the caret symbol which on US keyboards is Shift 6 and then put a number after that you can see I get a really nice version of raising a number to a power. If I want a fraction I can do backslash FRAC and then in curly brackets put the numerator and then in the next set of curly brackets put the denominator. And then I get a very nice looking fraction. I could even type more things in here. So I can do this. I could do that. And I could see I get a nice equation. When I hit Insert, notice that this appears here as a separate element. It works just like an image. You can go to Arrange and you can have it stay on page, move with text. It will default to inline with the text, but you could have it work as a regular element here that you move around on the screen. And then you could also resize it and everything. If I double click it goes back in here and I can edit again. There's all sorts of special symbols like for instance I can do slash times and you can see I get a multiplication symbol. div will give me a division symbol. I can do slash int for an integral symbol and then slash pi will give me a nice pi symbol like that. So there's a ton of stuff you can do. These can get really complex. Learning how to do this is kind of like learning a whole new programming language. So you want to search for LaTeX and examples and LaTeX and tutorials online to find out more. Now I want to give you one more set of examples but this time in numbers instead of pages. In numbers if you type a formula I'm going to start a formula here with the equals symbol and then type it. Notice I'm going to use an asterisk to represent multiplication and it will actually show the multiplication symbol instead of an asterisk if you're inside of a formula. So now I can do this and if I press Return notice I get the result there. So if I want to see the actual formula I can select it and I can see it here at the bottom left but I don't see it here in the cell. However if I double click here to edit again and then go to the left there's a little drop down menu here and I can select from Show Formula as Text or Convert Formula to Text in Cell. If I select Convert Formula to Text in Cell then I actually get the formula here. And you can see here it says this is text. So instead of this being a formula with a calculated result it's now a way to actually type a formula like this complete with a multiplication symbol or if I do a division symbol like that you can see the slash is converted to the division symbol and then I click here and say Convert Formula to Text in Cell and I get the division symbol. But another way to do it is actually type the formula like that and get the result. And then in a different cell use a special function called Formula Text and then refer to the first cell. And Formula Text will actually show you the formula from that cell. 
So there are a bunch of different handy techniques that you should know if you often type math equations on your Mac. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.